But Atlantic City, and I can't emphasize this enough, Atlantic City itself is just an, was an opportunity for me personally and for a lot of the people in this room to have an opportunity to move to the next level. There's a family sitting over here, and the name of the family is called the Washington family. I want to ask one question of the Washington family to go back. They were entrepreneurs and business people here in Atlantic City. Answer a question for me, would you please? In the Washington family, how many um, college degrees do I have? More than five? <laughs> Seventy. Oh, yeah. two generations. And it started from a hot dog stand on Kentucky Avenue in Atlantic City. A hot dog stand owned and operated by African Americans. But Mr. Washington family started that. What year? 1938. 1938? Thank you. And he had 70 degrees, you said? Right down the line. This is like living history. Hey, pardon? What are you saying? Yeah, you're the oldest and youngest one, too. That's what I said. If he can do it, I can do it. If he can do it, I can do it. Then we win. But, you know, when you have an opportunity to come to an event such as this and meet some folks, another young man, we'll talk about his dad, too, pretty soon, um, to meet people who were part of the uprise of lifting by the bootstraps, rising like a phoenix from the ashes into another generation. Now, their kids were going to college. Now, not 70, they'll be 170. But it started at the grassroots of their father having the opportunity to say, I want to open up a business, and I'm going to put Nikki to work. Nikki, did you eat many hot dogs? Did well, you I just stand on the, on, the on the soda crate to cook them. <laughs> I don't eat none nowadays. <laughs> what did you guys get for a hot dog back then? A nickel. A nickel. A nickel. That's oh. my you got the bun? 15 cents? Oh, well, we don't want to have that for it. That's Clifton. Clifton? Uh, what are you saying yet, sir? I was a night shift. You were the night shift, right? I was 13 years old. I went to work at 12 o'clock at night and got off at 8 in the morning. Right. Oh, wow. So they and I used to get he, mad because all my friends were having a good time and I had to work. See, <laughs> so he worked, he worked the family business and he went to his real job. In Atlantic City, most folks had two jobs to survive. It wasn't a one-job town. You either worked that split shift or you did something else. Um, 